Oh, it's an express train coming through! Jesus, slow down! I should have taken Gorn's Express years ago! This is ten times better than pulling those mucky goods trains! James! James! Uh, but it still has a catch. James, I need a word with you, and an honest one at that! For the last time, Percy, Sir Top of Matt's orders! No, 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 I don't care about that anymore! Plus, you're a filthy liar! And when you're in the odds, did you happen to see three big giant vans in the right buffer siding? Wait, which right? Your right or my right? James, this is serious! Alright, alright! Oh, I did see three vans in the siding and I attached them to Gordon's train. Because that was also Sir Tom Matt's orders. He wanted Gordon to get some exercise. You filthy lying beast! Do you think Sir Tom Matt ordered Gordon to pull explosives that could go off when you reach over 70 miles per hour? What?! Those vans were meant to go one by one to the Sodor military! They have a special bomb inside them, if you go over 70 miles per hour, a timer will set, and they could go off in under a minute! What, what were explosives like that doing in a freaking yard?! You never know, James, an intruder might come and invade the island! It would be bad enough to intrude our Skittle-filled island, that they would be worth blowing up! That's not important. The important thing is that we have to get those explosives back ASAP! And just how are we gonna do that? Gordon's probably going well over 70 miles per hour right now. Gordon! That's it, I'm gonna give this talking train a piece of my mind. Hey train, are you gonna move this coach up to the platform or what? I'm waiting! What crackhead runs this railway? We're coming, Gordon! Don't go too fast now! Oh! What is in these trucks? Oh! <gasps> I see him, Percy! He's almost at the top of his hill! You mean that hill that was named after him after that minor incident? Yep, that's the one. Gordon's hill. Why don't I get something like James's water tower? It's just not fair. Oh, wow, Gordon. You just took the vans and not even a brake van attached. James! There are more important things here than following the rules. If he reaches past the top of the hill, he'll roll down the hill as fast as he can, and he'll blow the smithereens! Not if I can help it. James, wait for me! Ah, <sighs> finally at the top of the hill. Stop, you massive beast! Oh! <clears throat> Good work, James, I got... Oh. Oh, uh, what? Uh, James? You. You sneaky, lying son of a... Oh! <laughs> I, I I think I lost them. Ah, oh, what a good day to be fast and sexy, isn't that right, Toad? Quite right, Mr. Spencer. Oh, look, Mr. Spencer, it's my colleagues. Your Kellogg's? Kellogg's Frosted Flakes Monday. They're great, Mr. Spencer. <laughs> did, did, did you try to murder me? Well, there's times where I do feel like it. First you try to take my career, then you try to take my life? This was a mistake. Well, just wait until I tell Sir Top of- You're a dark, bloody murderer, Percy! This never happened, let's bring him back to the shed, come on! You're 80 years in the future! Shut up! Okay. Gordon, you had a really big crash there, buddy. Crash? What do you mean? You were pulling the express and we found you at the bottom of your hill. What? Oh, oh my god, are my passengers okay? Oh yes, I checked all their pulses, they're still breathing. Uh, James, didn't you leave the express at the station? Oh snap. Well, 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 this will be a very interesting two weeks indeed. Uh, sir, I have a confession to make. I am very sorry for what I did. Gordon, how could you? What? Leaving poor Henry to take your express. Henry? Hi guys, I'm now part of your high class club. The express was left at a station and Henry puffing by volunteered to take it. Gordon says this job is for engines who have high class. Not to brag or anything, but every day I pull a very high class train of baby trees to the forest every day. That's great, Green Train. Can we please go now?
Henry pulled it so well that I think he'd make a good permanent replacement. But I've toned it down for only two weeks. Well, what job do I do, sir? <coughs> what job will you be doing? Uh, Henry, would you mind explaining? You will be doing high class work, Gordon. All right, Gordon. I loaded that crate on your flatbed. Oh, the indignity. You know, I'm not gonna lie, this is actually way more entertaining than pulling a goods train.